and welcome to Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. We are back and as you can see, the backdrop has absolutely changed, you guys. Yes, so we have our just white backdrop because as I talked about before, I've decided to redo the whole idea of my backdrop. We went from a closet to now I was thinking, you know what, I think I want to do something bedroom related. So sit back and buckle in. Boy, do we have a lot that we're going to be reviewing. We're going to be unpacking and we're going to be looking at to help build this entire doll room. So I definitely want to use this chair because I absolutely fell in love with it. We know that that came from our lovely set of the wrap swing chair. But I have a couple of things I want to mention here, you guys. And, uh, you know, want to put together and I absolutely want to share it with you guys and I want you guys to be here while I unbox it. So I found a couple of things and I'm going to use this whole Monster High theme because Monster High just came out with an amazing set that I wanted to share with you guys and I figured I'm doing a bedroom. Why not go ahead and start with building my bedroom best I can. So guys, I got it. Yes, the complete creep over party set. Super, super excited. We've got a bed in here. We've got two wonderful dolls that we're going to open up today and have a look-see so you can see what this exact set looks like. What I will say is maybe a couple of months ago I had bought, they had a set with just Claudine and a bed set. So I still have that bed and I'm probably going to use it in this whole backdrop that I'm putting together. But I also found a couple other things that I'm going to add to the room and share with you all first and foremost i then found my Claudine studio bump bada bump and i've opened her before but as you can see she has a nice like little dresser nightstand set that we can use a hanger for the clothes absolutely so i said okay yeah let's let's dig in there and then i found in my trusty dusty um uh, area where I keep all my old dolls at. I forgot I even had this, you guys. It was the Monster High family bed. Do you remember this set? Oh my goodness. Who remembers this set? Who has this set? With the little ones, with the little sister. As you can see, it had a clearance. What did I buy that for on clearance? $12.99. I think it was like way more than that. Oh yeah, it was $22.95 at first it says. So I've got a couple of things for us to get started with building this amazing doll room in the back. And I also picked up the new dun, 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 Frankenstein Scared Ice Island doll. So super excited for us to be opening her and we'll probably get her opened last since we've got this whole bedroom to build. So, I mean, let's go ahead and get into it and start with our biggest piece, which is our full Claudine Wolf Creepover Party set. Okay, so as we bring this on in, we've got a bed, we've got some accessories, we've got two dolls, we've got Draculaura and Claudine, and I heard, I heard, I heard that they have saran hair. So let me get all this stuff out so we can talk about it. Okay, so first I am taking the bed apart first, and the first thing that came out is a swivel chair. As you can see, it has two crescent moons on the side, which is super cute, and it swerves. And I think the one that I got before had that as well. We also have this really cute mirror. There's the dolls. Okay, so we've got a mirror for this, and it looks like there's a little stand in the back so that it stands up on its own. Okay, then let's go ahead and take out our bed. I'm just looking for the where it comes out at like the what's it connected to mm -hmm. okay let me oh okay how about i just do that let's see if it just comes out which would be great if it just came out on its own right without a whole lot but it feels like there's something underneath too all right let me play with this and i'll be right back Okay, so now we have gotten the bed out, and this is how the bed looks. It has these really cute, um, well, I'd say that they're cute, but I like the trees and the moon on the side. Um, I love this fully fuzzy blanket. 
very nice. She has like her own little bed pillow here. Um, and then this is a hard um, bed surface, but I'm gonna, I love the glow in the dark lights that go here. So it probably glows, it says how to the moon. And then this is the other side of it. Okay, so I think this is a super cute bed. And I'm, you'll probably, as I work on this myself, like not on camera, you guys will definitely see how I add the other bed and really make a really cute room for my dolls. And this isn't just for my, you know, my ghouls, but this is for the dolls. So we have our mirror. We have our chair so far. I think we're doing pretty good. What do you think? Let's talk about what also came in that set. So let me get my trusty table so I can show you. So what we also get here, this is the exact same thing you got in the first one, which I feel like is wrong for them to do us like this, but like a little ottoman, right? So we've got like a little pink ottoman, like to put your foot on, maybe at the end of the um, bed. And I'm still having to like look at the picture to make sure I'm doing this right. We have a little laptop and it has Frankie Stein on the laptop. We have a little, this is cute, like a little fridge and it has like a little doggy bone on the front of it. And then you open it and you can put like some of her snacks and stuff in there in the room. This is gonna be really cute to style. Then we also have like, it looks like a glow in the dark. Um, I guess it's like a, it's a wolf and a moon and glow in the dark. And so it's something that we can kind of just put up on one of the little shelves over here. Um, then we have this fuzzy pillow. It's like a bear. Isn't that cute? I'm quite sure this glows in the dark too, but it's supposed to be like a pillow for her bed. We then have some popcorn for when the girls come over and they want to eat. We then have, I'm opening as I go, this little um, like spiderweb basket. So I think maybe some things can go into that. Um, we also have a milk carton. It says bites on the front. Um, and then we have, I don't know what this is. It's a cube. Something goes right here, I'm thinking. We'll figure this out in a minute. Um, maybe it's a speaker. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. Then we've got like, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be, it's like a little apple and it has like a little, but I'm trying to figure out like what's down on top of it. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a drink, but there's two of them, right? So I don't know if it's like a juice box drink type deal. I'm not too sure, but that came with it too. Then we have another water bottle that says um, kombucha. So you got your little kombucha right there. Um, I'm still opening stuff as we go. Sorry, guys. And we've got, oh, like a game board. So you've got like a little game board, like if they're playing video games. Then you have... A set of books okay then you also have which I'm wanting to think it says oh ice cream so these are probably going like in the little refrigerator and these are wolf cakes so you've got some food items right here that came with the set they gave you a lot of little accessories I'll tell you that then you've got you some ghost pepper chips who doesn't want ghost pepper chips okay and lastly, you have um, a two-pack of, let's see what this is, some cola, Fang Cola. Okay, so you got two of those. So these are all the accessories that come with this doll set that we'll put together, or I'll be putting that together as I'm creating, but I wanted to make sure that I showed what actually came into this set. So I'll move this over to the side. Um, and then let's go ahead and get to our dolls from this set. That's like the absolute best part 
is our let me focus in a little bit better it's uh, it's our beautiful claudine and jackie laura dolls so let me get them out of the box and let's talk about them okay so here we are with our claudine first and she looks absolutely gorgeous you guys her hair is so soft it is the saran hair and i'm looking at this claudine and i'm saying to myself she feels like she has the g1 body I, I don't remember claudine being like this thinner in her doll but i could be wrong i don't know why i'm feeling like she's in the g1 is she a g1 doll I'm looking at my Dracula and you no, know, she's still thick. I don't know. Somebody tell me in the comments below. But so I love the fact that they gave her this cute um purple, this mint green. I love this green on her uh in black, and it says um howling or howl on her crop top, and then she's got her sleep pajamas on that say howl down the side of the leg. Just want to show that to you, so I'll bring it a little closer. And then the other side, you have the three, the different moon phases that they have on the doll. Um, and then she has on these really cute um, pajama shoes. And look at the little faces. They have like little teeth. <laughs> look at the little teeth. Isn't that cute? Um, her makeup is absolutely gorgeous. Just want to kind of give you a really cute picture of her. She has um, her pink earrings in, some double-sided um what I like to call it the crescent moons she's got her sleep mask on her head like she is really really ready to go to bed pretty soon so I think this is super cute she also comes with this little um hood so she's got like a little hood not not a hood why am I saying a hood a sleep jacket a little crop sleep jacket it looks like too but it looks like hold on if I put this jacket on her I feel like it'll be shorter than what she has on but I could be wrong okay well maybe not so yeah the jacket does it's long on her I'm not gonna put it all the way on but just want to show you what it would look like if she had her little sleep jacket on which I thought was pretty cute so I, I do like the doll I love the fact that she's got some really nice hair um, and just want to turn her around for you she's got two ponytails I love the fact that they kept that um, the brown if you can see some spots of brown are in there but she's got more of that um pearl pink i call it and then she's got some darker color pinks in there um and i think everything looks really cute for our claudine doll our claudine doll and then we have our beautiful draculaura let me get a stand for draculaura okay so drac is looking super cute too she's got saran hair I love, I want you all to see how this night shirt is like bat wings. Isn't that cute? So she's got bats on her, um, uh, on her shirt. She's got her bat earrings in. She's got her shorts on that have the spider webs on them and spiders. Just want to give you a quick look. And then look at her cute shoes, you guys. So cute. I love, love Draculaura's hair like this. Drac is one of my third favorite um, dolls because, well, fourth, because I love Gulia. I'm obsessed with um, Claudine and um, what's the other one? And oh, Cleo. Okay. And then Drac comes in to me because that's how I feel about it. Get mad. Don't get mad. Um, so she's got her good bestie over. But what I like about the set as well, it also gave her a purple um, sleep coat. So if they have to rush outside or somebody's knocking at the door or whatever and they have to rush downstairs, they have something to put on because it's probably cool at night. But um, And then the girls both came with these two pillows, these plastic pillows. Um, the moon, which is pretty cute for Claudine. And then Draculaura has his heart. Super cute. Um, but I love the fact that with this set came a, um, for Draculaura, a really cute sleeping bag. So your Draculaura, even though she's staying the night with her good girlfriend, she'll have some place to sleep. So they thought about that because when you have friends over, they need to have a place to lay down as well. So I thought that was super cute. And look at the bat. It's nice and soft and fuzzy up here. Um, and then it's just like, like a spider web. It's got some lace, or not lace, but some frill around it. And I really do like this set. So this cost, I believe it was like $69 and I got it from Sam's. Um, and I would definitely say, you know, it's a really good um, piece 
to have as I'm collecting and making my room together. So you guys, I have so much more that I'm going to be opening and in my next video, I will continue to add on to this doll room. I'm going to zhuzh it up a little bit tonight so that it starts to come into its own as we get ready to add our next set. Um, in my next video, which is going to be, we'll go ahead and put our next bed set up and we'll kind of go from there. If you like today's content, please, 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 please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. If you um, enjoyed us looking at how we're getting ready to put together this new doll room area, we're going to get it looking fabulous and we're going to be adding more dolls to it and adding um, really some more pieces that I'm finding as I go. Um, drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. If you have this set, if you plan on getting this set, I will say um, I got it really because I wanted the dolls. So that was the, the kind of drawback for me with this is that I don't really feel like um, they gave us the exact same bedding set in this. They just gave us with a different Claudine. So I thought that maybe they could have been a little bit more original as to maybe giving us a different type of bed set. But let me know your thoughts. Do you Did anybody else feel the same way about us getting a duplicate and having to pay extra just for a different two different dolls and to get us a Draculaura and for the dolls to have Saran hair? I think, you know, we jumped in and did it, but I'm going to make it work. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching today. And as usual, thanks for watching Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. See you next time.